All right, I'd like to open up the um, QGIS browser. Now this browser is different from the browser that shows up on the side of uh, the program. So open this up and what we want to do is scroll down into our Q directory and look at some of the characteristics of the uh, data I'd like to play with here in a bit. So uh, open up the QGIS and come down here to Tompkins and unzipped and we can open this up and what I'd like to do is to look at the town data and down here under the town data um, I'm going to click on uh, Cornell tree shape so clicking on Cornell tree shape here um, we get some data over here in the metadata uh, information that is kind of useful to look at so here down uh, here at the bottom you can see the uh, spatial reference system so it's the UTM zone 18 uh, it's using the GRS 80 ellipsoid okay so that's that's one thing we want to kind of keep in mind is what's the reference that that the data has been collected in so now if I, I look around to some other areas here's the some buildings and you can see this um, looks differently so this is a uh, mercantile latitude uh, which is a different but it's still using the GRSA 80 so one of the problems that we may have is that if we wanted to use the the Cornell trees and the and the buildings um, they have different references and that could give us a, a problem to to look at um, and further I come up to the aerial ph photos and so um, you know, to scroll down through here you can see there's lots of photos that uh, we have available for us to use but I want to look at this one that is the Tompkins uh, index 12 so let's look at this uh, metadata from what's here and you can see that it again has this mercantile latitude so it looks like it looks like that's kind of the same as the other one that that we had uh, and I'll come up and just click on just any one of these guys here uh, and scroll down through and uh, look at its spatial reference system so as we look at these different um, components some are some are going to be the different some are going to be the same so the question is you know how do we how do we start this how do we get these guys to uh, to see if we can get them to line up and I'll show you what um, can happen when you, you get involved in this so I'm going to take the browser and just uh, set it aside for a minute this again we're going to go down through I'm going to load in the um, index for the county I'm going to do an identification uh, and I'll, so here's some 846's uh, 846 894 so 846 8 so that would be this one right here so I'm going to add that one and you can see that it's um, it's been added unfortunately uh, it, let's see what's happened and if you lose data like this where it looks like it's there but it doesn't show up uh, first thing to do is to turn off your other layer and see if it's maybe buried underneath and uh, I don't see it there the next thing to do is to come up here to this button which is the show the full extent of your map so when I show the full extent you can see that down here is my county and up here is my data and it hasn't come in properly it hasn't um, lined up like this data should have been so we could try to change things or what we could do is just give up and start over so quite often it it's uh, the sequence of what you bring in or you know kind of where you're starting for this information and how you're bringing them in together so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over and uh, I'm going to start by coming up to the project and in project properties and then I'm going to turn this on now this particular transformation what this does is it it allows the program to um, an attempt to um, put the data all in the same transformation and how it's doing that is it's looking at the at the metadata 
and what the uh, source projector the, is. And so it reads this and it says, okay, that's not the same as the other one and I'm going to do the best that I can to line these things up. And it, it works, you know, most of the time and, you know, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's important to determine which one you bring in. So often what you want to do is bring in the, the, the smallest data possible. So, okay, so we've had some uh, trouble getting these things lined up and, and so we want to come back and just take a little uh, look again. And so I want to look at the Cornell trees and you can see its projection uh, zone is a UTM zone uh, 18 and uh, units are here in meters. So let's look carefully at that and see how uh, we want to uh, continue. So if I um, come up and look at the index shape, I look at the sky and units here are US, US uh, feet. And if I look at one of the images, uh, and I scroll down, I find out that this projection is in meters. So it's kind of an interesting thing is that the uh, images that have been recorded are in in a uh, meters projection, but yet the uh, the index that's for placement uh, is in U.S. feet. So um, while we have uh, both Mercantor projections we have to be careful about the units and so uh, let's see what happens as we uh, try to bring these guys together now. So oftentimes what you may want to do is you want to start with a brand new project and in your project uh, you may want to look at the project properties and you may want to try to do this on the fly transformation because this might work might work fairly well for us. So we're going to give that a try. Okay, um, I'd like to bring in the trees first, as oftentimes uh, going to the smallest space is a, is a good thing to do. So there's the, uh, the trees at Cornell campus. And now I'd like to bring in the um, index. Now the index was a different projection, and so I'm going to add this layer. Uh, and as you can see though, it's, it does appear that it might have brought it in the right place. Uh, being a little bit dark, we're going to go to its properties and change the transparency to something fairly high so we can see through it. So now we've got um, trees and the index on there and um, I'm going to zoom out. And so this is central uh, Ithaca area. And you see identify on the index and see if we can find this um, in this um, image right here. So that image is uh, 846.890. I'm going to scroll up here, 846.890. It's this guy here. And I'm going to add him in. Um, so it didn't appear as though he came on top of there, so things are not looking quite the way they should. So I'm going to look at the uh, to the full zoom, and you can see here's my my trees are still down here, and I've got this little blip way up here in the corner uh, that is actually in my image. So obviously the uh, software was a bit confused and didn't put it in the right spot. So what we can do is maybe see if the problem is uh, whether it's projection or maybe it's units. So we're going to set the, the, the layer and you can see what it's done is that it has brought it into the New York Central projection but it is in units of meters and if you scroll down one or two uh, I guess I went too far, New York uh, I went up instead of down uh, here's New York Central. So this is the same projection, but it's different units. So let's try just changing the units here. Uh, and you can see how that projection uh, changed. So if I look at it this way, uh, the only real difference between those two things is this last little piece in the units. So I'm going to change it to, to this and, um, and see what happens. And then I'm going to look to the full extent. And I've brought this down on top here now. Um, and we probably would want the trees to be on top. So I'm trying to drag the trees on top one way or another. And I'm going to zoom in on that to see uh, how we're 
making out with respect to this data.